If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. So I'm rocking the red with the goat here with the Cavs. How are you? Victory today, right? Oh, man, yeah, it was exciting. So we're running, good. We're running these buses <laughs> down from Baltimore. People really? Are coming down. Is DC going to embrace the Baltimore contingent? Do we need all the fans we can get? Hey, as long as they're wearing red, as long as they're rooting for the Caps, it doesn't matter where you're from. You what, if, what if you bust that, that? Is that? You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Inside here, that actually as long has as no we're all bound As long as everybody's on the same page. I'm trying to get phase, through yeah. the boundaries of this Baltimore-Washington thing. It's been a little dicey for the last few years, I'm not going to lie. Like, the team has, you know, had a little trouble reaching out to the Baltimore thing. There was a lot of uh, pushing to Northern Virginia and stuff like that, but there a lot of people I know who old school Caps fans who are up from around Baltimore because they used to play out in Landover. Sure, I'm one of those of, guys. A lot of Skipjacks fans. I yeah. love when they brought back the hockey sticks and the Rad Langway and the Gartner. Yeah, yeah. You know, the Marook look. That, yeah. That's the look you for You get me. a little bit old school, but with like a nice refresh for the uh, for the new guys. Feeling good. Yeah. Eight in a row now. Yeah. Eight in a row today. Shot, we get eight shot. in a row. Yeah, it's certainly better than the other eight in a row they had a couple months ago. So, you know, it's I can, two different teams, I right? And we were just talking the other night how quick it is that eight in a row just piles up in a win column. But that eight that eight in a row loss just seemed like it went on forever. But this is just boom. I was like, okay, they won eight in a row. Who what about knew? trading deadline day? Bringing Arnett in. I mean, that Brilliant. huge, huge. I, I can't, I can't lie. That was that guy. I actually didn't think he'd contribute as much on the ice as he has. As he has, I expected him to have a big impact in the locker room because he's not afraid to like tell people, you know, what they may not want to hear. And he even said so after his first game. He was just like, you know, no, if it, it, I'm here to say things, and if guys don't want to hear them, then so be it. I, I don't care. So when the cup comes, are we going to meet down around 32, 175 there? Bring the cup on 95. Is that all right? That'll be nice. We get it at the rest stop, and it'll be like, we'll just have like a little party. You know, it'll be great. It'll be great. Goat rock in the red, DC, man. Thanks for coming by. Right on. Let's Cheers. go, Cavs! Rocking it. <laughs> if you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.